Hey everyone, I'm here to give you some tips on digital drawing. So this is the stylus I have. It's not an Apple pen or anything, it's just this Logitech pen. Um, turn it on with this button here and then once it's activated, I can use it instead of my finger. And um, yeah, so I use Procreate or an Autodesk sketchbook and I'm just gonna first start with Procreate and show you the interface. So when you open it up, you get this like board of your works. And if you wanna bring in a photo, you can just click up here on photo and that will bring up your image gallery. So anything you have downloaded, you'll be able to import into Procreate. So I'm gonna select this photo here and you see it kind of creates a new board. And then um, this is the sort of palette that we're gonna be working on. So up here is the layers palette and you can see that one is already there and you can add a new layer by clicking on the plus sign. I'm just gonna show you here, you can also, um, add a layer within this this area. Now this add a file, it's not gonna take you really anywhere. What we really need to do is go to import a photo. That's if we want to add another photo to this same board. So I have this um, brown craft paper also downloaded onto my iPad. So I'm going to select that from my files and that's gonna bring that in as a new layer. So now I can draw on this brown paper layer now, if we click here on this letter N, we can change the opacity of the layer so you can see um, what's below it. And there's a bunch of other blend modes that you can use here, but we'll just use opacity for now. So we can also add a layer up here. And usually I like to add a fill layer um, to replicate sort of the effect of tracing paper. So we can select a color from the color picker up here. I'm gonna go with white and then go onto the layer and click fill layer. So if you actually tap right on the thumbnail of the layer itself, you'll be able to access that. And then we can change the opacity to kind of make it look like we're drawing on trace paper over top of another image. So that's kind of how I'm going to be drawing. And then also we're going to um, make a new layer and this is what we're actually going to draw on. So to make sure that everything is kind of as, as analog to um, manual drawing as possible, we're just gonna keep everything separate. So let's look at our brushes and tools that we have. So we go into the brush library here and I'm just gonna show you a whole bunch of different tools that you could use. Now, um, over here is the eraser and that's quite handy for, of course, erasing things. Um, I'm gonna show you a few of the pencils that are here and also some of the pens. So if we tap again onto this tool, it will bring up this settings panel and you can see all of the settings that are associated with that tool and you can alter them, change them, customize them as you like. But I'm just gonna keep them as they are pretty much and the tools that I'm going to be using are the HB pencil, the technical pen, and then I might use some um, art brushes if I wanna do um, some colors or some blending. Now over here, you can change the size of the tool tip itself. And um, so let's see, and keep in mind that depending on the stylus you have, your edges will be responsive on your, on your stylus. So if you um, use the side of the, of the tool, it's going to look a lot different than if you use the, the tip, like kind of perpendicular to the plane. So you can get a much more sharp line if you draw straight down than if you draw uh, with the side of the tool. So using the side of your tool is gonna be good for shading and um, kind of scratching in those line work details. But you should also just take some time before we begin on Tuesday to experiment with some of these tools and see what they do and see if there's any that you really enjoy using. This tool up here is the smudge tool and this um, you, is exactly the same as the brush and the eraser in that you can select the style of tool that you want to use to smudge things. I like to use a dry brush or a watercolor brush. They just add a really nice texture to your blend modes. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much all the drawing tools we're gonna use. Now uh, over here on this toolbar, there are some transformation tools and editing tools. And then there's some hue saturation and other adjustment tools. So remember that this uh, little gear, this little wrench is where you can save and uh, save your file. And you can save it in a bunch of different ways. Um, later, we can explore how we make an animation. But yeah, so there's, there's a lot you can do in Procreate and I find it to be 
just one of the more intuitive drawing apps. So this is the one that I will be using as I go through this course. Now, if we go back to our color palette here, um, I'm gonna select white and I wanna draw as if I'm drawing with white pencil crayon to replicate some of these white marks, but you can't really see them show up because remember, we're drawing on a piece of white tracing paper. So if we turn off our trace paper layer and then we put back on our brown sheet of paper, now we can see this white showing through. So we can actually draw with white, um, but you just might not see it if you're using kind of tracing paper. So um, just make sure that if you want to see the effects of white that you change your trace paper to, um, to the brown background. And you might just have to kind of get used to switching back and forth. Another tip I have is to actually draw different types of lines and shadows on different layers. So this is something I find really helpful um, because we can set up a new layer and um, I'm going to just rename it here and call it light. And then I'm going to call this one lines. And now I can draw all my line work on the lines layer and I can use the light layer as this white background so I can sketch it in and then I can move it um, sort of back and forth between underneath my lines so that it, uh, the line work shows up over top. 